everybody, my name is Benny Ann, and today we're going to be doing a practice for a sense of belonging. I remember during some moments in my life when I didn't feel like I belonged and whether it's because I moved to a different school or I started a different school and um, I remember those were some of the darkest moments of my life. So if this is something that you're feeling, especially during the pandemic and even with all the hate um, that Asians are experiencing and all the violence. And I know some Asians are not feeling like they belong in the United States right now. Um, this practice is for you. I see you, I feel you, I hear you, and I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. So go ahead and roll out your mat and we'll get started for this practice. And if you like this flow, please like and subscribe for more. Thank you. We're gonna start in child's pose. Knees wide, big toes to touch. Walk your hands up. And rest your chest down towards the mat. And start to tune into your own breath here. And try to make your inhales equal to your exhales. For maybe a count of four. Inhale. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right. Left hand goes on top of the right. And you're in your left hip down towards the mat. Breathe into your side body. Inhale through center. Exhale, walk on over to your left. Right hand goes on top of the left. Right hip moves down. Feeling the stretch in your right side body. Maybe you're pushing down through your hands or pushing down through your hip. Inhale through center. And as you exhale, walk yourself up into a tabletop position and go through a few rounds of cat-cow on your own. Inhale to gaze up, exhale to round your spine, inhale gaze up, exhale round your spine. Then come to find stillness and you can continue with cat-cow or you can start making some big hip circles. Hips turn to the left, forward, to the back, to the left. I'm just going with your breath here. Go ahead and go circle the other way. Come to find stillness, back into tabletop. Inhale, right foot steps between your hands. Reach your arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, reach your arms tall. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Step your right foot back to meet the left. Left foot steps in between your hands. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, reach your arms tall. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands 
Come down, tuck your right foot and step your right foot to meet your left. Forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows, keeping your knees deeply bent. Shake your head, yes. Nod your head, no. Ooh, I think I switched that around. And just sway side to side. Or you can be in forward fold in stillness. Release your elbows and start to roll up one vertebra at a time. And just coming into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, step your left foot back into a 45 degree angle. And bend your right knee, warrior one. And I invite you to repeat the affirmation if you'd like. I am brave, I am bold, I am unafraid. I am brave, I am bold, I am unafraid. Release your hands down to your low back and clasp your hands at your low back. Reach your fists down towards the mat as you shine your heart up towards the sky. And exhale, fold to the inside of your right knee. Right knee pushes on right shoulder, shoulder presses on the knee. Your legs are strong. And inhale, reach your arms up tall. Straighten your front knee and exhale to fold over your front leg. It's a pyramid pose, feeling this hamstring stretch. And pressing down through the outer edge of your back foot. And then next inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky for a standing split. Your crown, the crown of your head reaches towards the floor as your foot reaches up. Reach up just a little bit more, one more breath. And then exhale, release your left leg down by your right forward fold. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Come back into Tadasana. This is your neutral pose. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, step your right leg back into that 45 degree angle. Reach your arms tall, bend your left knee. And I invite you to repeat the affirmation either in your head or out loud. I belong. I belong. Your hands clasp behind you. Reach your fist down towards the mat. Shine your heart up. And your, it's opposite thumbs. Just to make sure we're even. Exhale, fold over to the inside of your left knee. And again, left knee pushes on the left shoulder, shoulder presses on the knee. And your back leg is powerful and active. Inhale, reach up. Straighten your front knee and exhale to fold over your left leg, hamstring stretch. And then next inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky for a standing split. And hold here for a few rounds of breath. Reach your right leg tall. 
Inhale and exhale, release your right leg down by the left. Forward fold. Go ahead and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your back into mountain pose. And soften your gaze or close your eyes here. And I invite you to notice any sensations in your body. Notice any feelings. Maybe some tingling. If you don't notice anything, that is totally okay too. Keep your eyes open. And we'll do a balance pose. Right knee or right ankle over your left knee. Hands in prayer. And reach tall in an inhale. Exhale. Sit down into a chair. So ankle to knee balance pose. You can pick a single point in front of you that's not moving. And that'll help with balance. If you hop out, hop back in, it's okay. And come out of the pose, shake it out. Onto the other side, left ankle over the right knee, hands in prayer. Reach the crown of your head tall and exhale, sit down into a chair. And again, choose that single point in front of you. In yoga, we call it the drishti point. And release that, shake it up, and come to the front of your mat if you're not there already. And your heels stay on the mat, your toes can be on the floor, out on the outside edge of the mat. Hands in prayer and drop your hips down into a yogi squat or malasana squat. Go ahead and shift your weight around and notice if you're collapsing over, keep the length in your spine. And sometimes that might mean sitting on a block. Go ahead and roll down onto your seat and extend your legs out in front of you. Inhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Right foot goes to the outside of your left thigh. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale to twist to your right. Go ahead and release that and we'll switch sides. Extend your right leg out. Hug your left knee into your chest and put your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist to your left, hug your knee into your chest. Go ahead and release that. Your feet are, soles of the feet are on the mat. Inhale, reach your arms parallel and roll down one vertebra at a time, slowly and with control. And hug your knees into your chest. Take a big inhale. Roll up into a ball, scrunch your face, tense up every muscle. Take an inhale. And then exhale, release down into Shavasana. Your feet are wide, allow the feet to flop open. 
your arms take up space, shoulders are away from your ears, release the tension in your face, in your jaw, and I want to leave you with one final affirmation. I am divinely protected in my energy. I am divinely protected in my energy. This is a good time to pause the video and stay in Shavasana for as long as you can. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. See you in the next video.